food processing facility sanitation is an integral part of good manufacturing practices. Effective sanitation aids in ensuring the wholesomeness, safety, and quality of shell eggs. The negative impacts on food safety and egg quality are a result of microbial growth. Research has shown that ineffective cleaning and sanitation practices or programs can lead to reduced quality duration or potential product contamination. Residual microorganisms can lead to egg spoilage or foodborne illness. Most of this training series will focus on the United States Department of Agriculture Agricultural Marketing Service Pre-Operational Sanitation Inspection Expectations. However, remember that the Food and Drug Administration has oversight of consumer shell eggs in the United States as stated in 21 CFR 117. Additionally, customers, accrediting organizations such as Safe Quality Food, British Retail Consortium Global Standard, and others, as well as state and local regulatory agencies, may have additional facility sanitation expectations that can impact your facility. AMS sanitation requirements are meant to protect the integrity of the USDA grade mark by requiring additional sanitation expectations at facilities that utilize AMS voluntary grading services. To meet these goals, AMS inspectors will assess for voluntary grading program requirements during the pre-operational sanitation inspection and throughout processing operations by utilizing organoleptic inspection assessments. While AMS may review microbial test results as part of certain export programs, AMS does not conduct nor require swabbing or biological testing during routine sanitation assessments. So what is organoleptic inspection? Organoleptic inspection assessments include sight, smell, and touch. However, microbial growth will not always be seen, smelled, or felt. Critical areas are defined as equipment with potential surface contact with eggs or come in contact with wash water or air blown to dry the eggs. Non-critical areas are defined as areas that are not likely to imminently affect product quality. Non-critical does not mean it is not important. Non-critical unsatisfactory conditions should be addressed after the processing line has been started, unless unable to safely do so during processing. In this module, the critical and non-critical areas of the egg quality detection systems will be identified and discussed. Additionally, examples will be used to illustrate the unsatisfactory and satisfactory condition of various components associated with egg quality detection systems. Egg processing facilities shall be thoroughly cleaned at the end of each operating day the term reasonably clean is applied during the egg processing shift to indicate that equipment and processing areas are maintained with minimum egg meat accumulation. More explanation of these terms is presented in the introduction module. During this module, automated and manual egg defect detection will both be presented. Specific manufacturers will be mentioned merely to highlight egg quality detection systems unique to processing lines and how these systems are addressed during pre-operational sanitation inspection. All portions of egg quality detection systems must be available and accessible for assessment during pre-operational sanitation inspection. The detection systems must be clean each day prior to processing. Some egg quality detection systems require cooling units for the internal components. Many of these units will have filtration to prevent dirt and debris from entering the systems. Since this air is not blown directly onto the eggs, these are non-critical filters. However, they should be maintained in a clean fashion. 
The filter we see from this unit has a buildup of dirt and debris and should be replaced. This is an unsatisfactory finding on a non-critical item. Legacy diamond processing equipment may utilize human detection for cracks, also referred to as checks, leakers, bloods, and dirts, also known as dirty eggs. The candling booth can be single or double-sided. Bright lights from beneath the rollers allow for illumination of the egg interior. Mirrors across from the employee assist with viewing the eggs from the opposite direction as they progress through the area. Some booths are equipped with wands for operators to tap eggs, which should be removed from packaging. This allows the system to track eggs and appropriately divert eggs of inferior quality. Other candling booths rely on the operator to manually remove downgrade eggs. Critical areas within a candling booth include the rollers, any wands if present, and any fans blowing in the candling booth. These fans are usually for employee comfort Non-critical areas include the lights and diffuser plates, interior and exterior walls, control panels, mirrors, and booth structure, including framing, feet, and motors. In this shot, the booth interior assessment includes the critical components, roller, wands, and fans. Wands and fans are not present but the roller in this booth appears to be clean and satisfactory. The non-critical areas of the booth, interior walls, electrical panels, and bracing are clean and satisfactory. Rollers with excessive hard water buildup or egg stone that provide growth niches for microbial growth, such as here, are unsatisfactory for this critical component. Unsatisfactory critical components should be corrected before processing begins. If additional time is needed to correct unsatisfactory conditions, facilities should contact local USDA AMS supervision. Booth assessment also includes the non-critical areas under the rollers. This would include the candling lights and diffuser plates. The residual egg meat and shell from previous production makes this an unsatisfactory condition. Exterior components that have residual egg meat, as seen here, would be unsatisfactory in a non-critical area. This candling booth shows the three critical components, the fan at the top of the booth, the wand, as well as the rollers under the wand. From this distance and angle, the critical components cannot be effectively assessed. The exterior, non-critical components, including the plexiglass shield, the metal exterior bracing, as well as the feet, are clean and satisfactory. Some candling booths may be equipped with wands for marking downgrade eggs. The black body of the wand is non-critical, while the critical component is the actual tip on the wand that comes in contact with the eggs. The critical tip of this wand is satisfactory. The wand enters the candling booth from the ceiling. The electrical and mounting components associated with the wand, as well as its structural portions, are non-critical. In this shot, the structural components have residual egg meat, which would be an unsatisfactory finding. Automated dirt detectors assess eggs via imaging. Cameras scan the eggs as they move through dirt detectors and the computer tags eggs identified as having dirty or stained shells and diverts these eggs to restricted or waste accordingly. Egg rollers and curtain if present, are critical in automated dirt detectors. Non-critical areas include the exterior, all structural components located under the rollers, cameras, and the enclosure. 
For this Sanovo dirt detection unit, the critical internal components are the rollers and curtains. Both rollers and the curtains are clean and satisfactory. The non-critical components of this unit would include the mirrors, the pans under the rollers, and the cameras. The mirrors are clean and satisfactory. The cameras on the interior of the unit are clean and satisfactory. However, the pans have residual egg meat and shells making this unsatisfactory. The exterior non-critical components, including feet, bracing, and exterior panels are satisfactorily clean on this unit. For this MOBA dirt detector, the non-critical areas would be the covers, framework, and exterior panels. This is a satisfactory finding. In this interior view, the critical rollers appear to be satisfactory. The non-critical areas include the cameras, associated mounts, interior panels, and wiring. The discoloration on the interior panels and the small amount of residual shell would not prevent this from being a non-critical, satisfactory finding. Automated blood detection is also conducted via computer imaging. Eggs are illuminated to detect wavelengths within the egg contents, which represent blood spots, bloody albumin, bloody yolks, and meat spots. The computer diverts eggs which fall within the specific spectrum to restricted eggs. Automated blood detectors are mounted within the carriage structure, usually between the transfer and the first packing lane. All equipment associated with the blood detector is non-critical, including the sensors, lamps, wiring, and any mounting bars. Assessing MOBA blood detectors occurs between the transfer and the first packing lane. All panels should be removed to provide access to the detector units, wiring, and mounts for assessment. While the sensors and wiring on this unit appear to be satisfactorily clean, there is residual egg meat on the detector mounting bar which would be an unsatisfactory finding on a non-critical area. Here, the blood detecting units, as well as the mounting bar, are both satisfactorily clean. While the grippers in the carriage unit appear to be satisfactorily clean, we will cover the complete carriage unit in a separate module. Here we see a SANOVA blood detection system before it has been removed for assessment. While removal of this unit is necessary for complete assessment, we can see the electrical cord containment system has become discolored. Discoloration should not be cause for an unsatisfactory finding. However, if dirt and grime were present, it would be an unsatisfactory finding on a non-critical element. This view shows the blood detection system removed for assessment. The blood detection system reveals dried egg meat that has been left on the unit. This is an unsatisfactory finding in a non-critical area. Blood detectors on diamond machines will be located after the transfer under the carriage system. A removal chute is usually associated with the area. Both the blood detectors and associated wiring seen here are satisfactorily clean for this non-critical area. Crack detection on egg processing equipment is conducted via acoustical methods. For diamond and Sonovo processing lines, eggshell soundness is assessed as the eggs roll over acoustical sensors prior to the transfer. The transport bars or pushers and crack sensor units are critical. Non-critical areas include the drive train, chains, drive bar, gears, and surrounding non-contact surfaces. Assessment 
of diamond crack detection systems will be completed between the candling booth and transfer area. It will consist of the crack sensors, the pusher bars, and the drive chains and gears. In this particular shot, the non-critical drive chain and gears are satisfactorily clean. A closer view of the pusher bars and detection probes reveals this critical component is also satisfactorily clean. This check detection unit still has fresh egg meat from a previous production on the detecting sensors and pusher bars. This would be an unsatisfactory critical finding and should be corrected before production begins. Similarly, this check detection unit is unsatisfactory and in need of correction because of the accumulated and dried egg meat and shell on the detection unit. Assessment of Sanovo check detecting systems are assessed in the transporter unit directly after the rollers and will consist of the pusher bars and check detecting units, seen here with the blue mounting platform. The transporter unit covers should be raised to allow for inspection, as is shown here. A closer view of the pusher bars and detection probes reveals these critical components are satisfactorily clean. On this unit, we see residual egg meat remaining on the pusher bars, as well as egg between the check detecting units. This would be an unsatisfactory finding on a critical area and would need to be corrected before processing begins. MOBA accomplishes check detection with units mounted over the processing line prior to the UV sanitation system. Eggs are tapped by detection probes mounted above the eggs. Critical areas of these units would include probes, copper coils and rollers. Non-critical areas would be the wiring and structural components above the copper coils. The exterior of the unit, feet, framing, air filters, protective cover, and all areas under the roller. As the MOBA check detection system is an overhead mounted detection unit placed on the processing line, the unit should be raised and side panels should be removed to allow for proper assessment under the rollers. The probes and copper coils are critical and are satisfactorily clean. Probes and coils that have egg meat or other foreign matter on them are unsatisfactory. The critical deficiency seen in this shot must be corrected before processing begins. Here we see the rolled up protective cover, sensors, and sensor mounting bar. All have residual egg meat. These are unsatisfactory conditions on non-critical items. A closer inspection of this protective cover reveals residual egg meat and debris. This is an unsatisfactory finding in a non-critical area. While this non-critical finding may not prevent the start of processing for a single occurrence, continual occurrences of non-critical unsatisfactory findings can be upgraded to critical if not addressed. The exterior housing and panels of this check detection system are non-critical items and appear to be satisfactory in this example. Modern processing machines have the ability to detect and remove eggs from the processing line which have cracked shells and ruptured shell membranes, also known as leakers. Some grading machines may be equipped with standalone leaker detection units, while other graders detect leakers by analyzing inputs from the dirt and crack detectors. AMS personnel should be familiar with how the machine they are assessing detects leakers. In standalone leak detecting units, Critical components would be limited to the rollers that pass through the unit. Non-critical areas include cameras and sensors, the enclosure, all structural components located under the rollers, and the exterior of the unit. 
The non-critical exterior components of this Sanovo leak detection include exterior panels, framework, exhaust fans and vents, and conduit. This interior shot shows the critical components of the rollers and any curtains that come in contact with the eggs. The curtain on the right side is satisfactory, whereas the rollers are unsatisfactory due to the residual egg meat. Non-critical areas are the interior walls, drip trays below the rollers, ceiling panels, and sensors. The drip tray would be unsatisfactory due to the residual eggshell and egg meat. In this shot, the brackets of the ceiling appear discolored, but this would not prevent a satisfactory finding for the non-critical interior panels and sensors. The interior of this Sanovo leak detection unit shows all critical and non-critical components to be satisfactory. Egg quality detection systems are standard components on egg processing and grading machines. Whether completed manually with legacy style candling booths or with more modern automated detection systems, the individual components used to detect dirts, cracks, bloods, and leaking eggs should be thoroughly cleaned and assessed for sanitation each day before processing begins.